Welcome to my Big IP LTM training series, my name is Trevor. This video is going to explain what an event is inside of an iRule. Each and every iRule starts with an event declaration. The reason why all iRules start with an event is because the iRule logic is written and formed using an event-driven programming language. An event is an internal state a session goes through as it's being processed by TMOS. There are exactly 98 different events the Big IP can trigger on. Different protocols and modules such as the GTM or ASM have specific events that they can use. On the GTM for example, since the GTM functions as a DNS authoritative server and handles all DNS requests, it can only utilize specific events related to DNS. If you try to use an HTTP request event on the GTM, it'll actually give you an error stating that it's an unknown event. Think of an iRule as just a block of code and that code does not execute until the event occurs. The powerful benefit with events is that you can execute code at the most efficient and specific moment in the connection flow. An example would be if you wanted to make a modification to a URI inside of an HTTP request. It's not efficient to have to analyze every single packet traversing the platform waiting for the moment an HTTP request comes through. Ideally, you would only want to analyze and modify the packet after the TCP connection and handshakes are formed but before the HTTP request is sent off to the server. You can accomplish this by defining the when HTTP request event as your event declaration inside of your iRule, and now the big IP will only execute that code any time that event occurs. Events and the Tickle event-driven language gives the big IP the flexibility and network awareness to efficiently execute blocks of code on data at the precise moment it's configured to do so. Thank you for watching. Please click on the link below to see the entire Big IP LTM training series playlist or go to trevortraining.com for more training videos.